is up you guys my name is georgina my friends call me g welcome back to another one of my videos today's video is another mystery box so this one was an, another etsy mystery box and it was from time junkies and it's called the ultimate 90s retro gift box for girls and it was reduced to 24 pound and 64 pence from 28.99 so let's see what's inside it was supposed to be like a box filled with like ooh, stuff that was from the 90s so i was born in 92 so hopefully i will recognize some of this stuff and it will bring me back to uh back to my childhood so well first of all the packaging is stuffed with like comic strip i'm not sure which comic it's from oh, there's three pages of it whatever it is oh the comp i can't say i ever read any comics while i was younger so i don't know if this is actually from the 90s or not if anybody oh it says 86 on there i was gonna say if anybody knows then let me know that's interesting then if you have a look in here the box has got a big picture of pretty woman which is a film from the 90s so oh and this is the etsy store here time junkies if you like what you see then give them a look i guess um this video is not sponsored by them but it's always good to support people isn't it well, it says inside it's got a little note here that says timejunkies.com welcome to your time junkies box in this box you'll find a fantastic collection of memorable items from your chosen decade if you're not feeling nostalgic you will be soon there's a lot of peanuts in here so I'm going to put those in that big box I don't really like peanuts so Everything's wrapped up, oh, something's falling, in tissue paper. So you can kind of see what sort of things are there. So I can see a CD there. So let's pick something. So we've got this, which I can already see what it is. It is a VHS. Oh, it's a VHS. It's the, t it's the tape, but I can see sweets inside it. Oh, that's even better. I was going to say... I've not seen this film, The Shawshank Redemption. It's on my list to watch, but I've just seen there that it says Retro Sweets inside, so that's a lot better for me, I think. Let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. We've got Flumps. We've got Star Wars Candy Sticks. We've got Freddo's, which costs you a mortgage to buy now. Some <laughs> bubble We used to buy these all the time. Then we've got Love Hearts and a Love Hearts. Um, we used to. It's a lipstick, so you'd like take this off and then you'd eat it. But it's it's not really a lipstick. It's a sweet. It's like a lolly. And then <laughs> we've got the Love Hearts dip. We used to have like dib dabs. Oh, I'm giddy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, the bubbly. Oh, we used to look. I think they used to be called something else. I don't think they used to be called bubbly. But. Oh. I love all this stuff already. I'm giddy. When I saw it was a VHS tape, I thought genuinely it was going to be a VHS tape. I have got a, a video player in the loft, but. Um, that's even better. I love this. This this is good so far. So let's go for this. I can see what this is already. Hubba Bubba. If you've not tried Hubba Bubba, you need to try Hubba Bubba. I don't know if it still tastes the same as what it used to though. Let's have a go. It might not. So it was like this big strip like this. And you'd like have it like that and then 
need to cut it off like that. So the rest of it is still inside. It still smells the same. The only thing with stuff like this is it tastes good for about 10 seconds and then it wouldn't taste nice anymore. I've seen pictures on Facebook of people that have like bitten into it like down there. You're monsters if you do that. It kind of tastes the same but Maybe not as many E numbers as I remember. I like us though. How long have we been chewing this? 10 seconds? It's already lost its flavour. But it did take me back. I like that. Right. Next. We've got. Oh. This. Which we can all see is a CD. It's already ripped open at the side. The Sunshine After the Rain, New Atlantic and UE4E. I thought, I thought it said UB40 then, because I was going to say I like them, but it says UE40, featuring Berry. I've never heard of this before, but I am willing to listen to it. Is it scratched? It's got a little bit of scratching on it. I don't know if you can see. It's got The Sunshine After The Rain, original U4EA breakbeat mix and then the Two Cowboys 12 inch mix and then the Tall Paul remix. Yeah, that's okay. I'll probably listen to that at some point just to see what it sounds like. The next thing I've got in here it's something that I still wear today. It's a choker. We didn't I didn't used to have one like this though. I used to have those like ones that were called like tattoo ones. So I probably will be wearing this as well. I like it, it's cool. Next thing I've got is whatever this is. Those are like postcards. What have we got? The Awfully Big Adventure, Alan Rickman and Hugh Grant. I've never heard of that. The next one has got a picture of Brad Pitt on the front. Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins, Aiden, Aiden Quinn, Legends of the Fall. That's another film that I've never ever heard of. I'm sorry if I'm making you cringe, Mum. And then the next one I've got is Stargate. I have heard of that. I think I might have had that on videotape, but I can't remember if I actually watched it. And the next thing I've got is this one, which is called Nell. This movie will linger in your head and the heart for a very long time. Jodie Foster and Liam Neeson. Language beyond understanding. Life beyond words. Discover. Nell. Never heard of that either. But I think because I've been given these postcards, I'm going to have to watch them to see what the hell it's all about. So yeah, I kind of like that. I used, to, I used to have like a massive collection of postcards. I'm not sure why, but I don't have it anymore. But I've got four more now. Next one is this, which looks like, I can see, it says Goosebumps. Goose, or I, that, the thing I used to love about the Goosebumps books is they were all sticky out like that. All the letters were like bubbly. I don't know if you can see it. No, probably not. This is Goosebumps Return of the Mummy. Reader beware, you're in for a scare. I used to like Goosebumps. I've got a big um, Goosebumps like box set of all the like TV programmes, but I've only watched one episode, I think. It creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely have to read this. I like stuff like this. This stuff, oh, it's proper bringing me back this. Oh, oh God, I've just seen something cool down there. Right, next thing I've got looks like a magazine. Eight Great Stories. Mandy, M and J, Judy. I've never heard of this. 
every Thursday, ep um, number 191, January the 7th, 1995. So I'll be three when this is out. Or nearly three. No, not... No, I would be three that year, because I was born in October. So it's got cutie pin-ups, it's got mind-bending puzzles. It's got like... I'm, I'm actually going to sit and read this. Things about shoes, got like comics. S oh! Star scopes, okay. I'm a Scorpio, so mine is luck, luck is on your side this week, so don't worry about small probs. Everything will get sorted out in time. Lucky colour is navy blue, lucky number is three. Luck rating, three stars. Mm. I've got some more comics. Oh, here's my cute picture of my cats. That's what you stick on the wall. You used to cut out stuff uh, i don't know if people still do it cut out um the posters and stick them all on the wall mine tend to be like boys from i think it's smash hits magazine do you like um yeah gareth gates mm. and charlie from busted love charlie yeah that's really cool i like that Next thing I can see, which I, I've still got somewhere, a massive collection of these, is Pokemon cards. I don't know if these are, I don't know if these are 90s ones though. Because they've got new ones out now, haven't they? I still play Pokemon on the um, Game Boy Color. No, these are, these are new ones. Because I'm pretty sure this wasn't one of the ones that we used to have. Geodude was, but I don't think, I think this will be a new one. Oh, it says 95 on the bottom. What does that one say? Ah, oh, there you go. So that, this one is an original one from the 90s. This one's 95 on it. This one at the bottom says 2017, so this one's from last year. Then this one is 2015. And... These two are 2016. At least I've got one that's a original 90s one. But I, like I said, I've got a big collection of them. I had quite a few shiny ones that are in like some carry case thing with, um, I think it's Venusaurs on the front of it. Next thing I've got, I remember these. I never knew, used to know what to do with it. But if you know, please let me know. And it was... Pogs. Don't know what the hell's on them though. So this one's got like a eight with a crown on it. And this one's got some man on it. With a cowboy hat that says P.A. Angel 30 out of 50. And then we've got Bones. I like this one. Then we've got, I think, isn't that Judge Dredd? Don't hold me to it if it's not, but... Kind of looks like it. Then we've got, oh, ABC War Robot, 35 out of 50. He's kind of creepy. And then, oh no, I like this one best. Pure Poison. Like a shiny one. I like it. Yeah, I think I had a few of these, but I think they were like harder plastic than these cardboard ones. That's cool though, I like that. Oh, we've got another magazine. Can you see it? This one is Look In. It's got these boys on the front and it's got these boys on the back. I don't know who they are though. We've got like this. Oh, here's some more comics. Oh, Scooby Doo. I recognise that one. More Scooby Doo. More comics? What's that? Oh, Duckula. I had, a, I think I had a lunchbox with that on it. Crossword. Hey, the crossword's not been done. Oh, here's a poster. This is the sort of thing I was talking about. Rip that out. Put it on your wall. Not a clue who it is though, because it doesn't say. 
Oh, we used to, there used to be a program with her on it. We used to watch it all the time, some animal program. Michaela. Can't remember what it was called though. There's another one. Dog, ta dog tanning. And then we've got some skiing. Then we've got Galaxy High School. This is a lot of comics in here. Oh, there, here we go. Look in special selection of your program highlights for the week ahead. Saturday the 10th of March till Friday the 16th of March. What was on? Is there anything on that's still on now? Nothing on ITV. On Saturday. Oh, Coronation Street's on. Home and Away. <laughs> the Home and Away used to be on ITV. Mm. It's on Channel 5 now, I think. Countdown. Channel 4. Happy Days, Brookside, Buddy Hell, Scooby Doo, Count, Count Ducky, oh, Fraggle Rock. Oh, I love this stuff. DuckTales. Oh, and then there's some pictures here of New Kids on the Block. Drawn by some children, which will now be a lot older than I am. Hmm. I really like these. I'm going to have a proper read of those. And then to round up the box there's some comics like stuck to the bottom. I've had such a good time having a look through all this stuff. It's unreal. And I genuinely think Time Junkies, I love this box. This is, I think this is probably my favourite box I've ever unboxed. So yeah, if you like this video if you want to talk about any of the stuff that was in this video then uh, give me a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll be next uh, uh, also obviously like and subscribe and I'll be back next week with another video thank you bye